right, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, check this out. Saturday will be Miguel Cotto's final appearance in the ring as a professional fighter. Will Miguel Cotto do some sideline reporting or do some analyst work? Uh, only time will tell. But I was a fan of Miguel Cotto. I had tremendous respect for Miguel Cotto. I think he's a great fighter. He's a future Hall of Famer for sure. And they asked him a question. They asked him who was the best guy he fought. And he said it was Floyd Mayweather. Not Manny Pacquiao. Now keep in mind, Miguel Cotto fought a very entertaining and tough fight with Floyd Mayweather. Real good fight. It was a fight of the year candidate. I think back in 2000, um, 2013, 2012, something like that. But nevertheless, Miguel Cotto fought Manny Pacquiao. Unfortunately, Miguel Cotto was stopped by Manny Pacquiao in the 12th round in a fight that many people believe that Manny Pacquiao was on something. Me, myself, I believe Manny Pacquiao was on something when he fought Miguel Cotto. And I stand by that. Now, I just find it very peculiar that Miguel Cotto, as I said before, he went the distance with Floyd Mayweather. But he said Floyd Mayweather was the best fighter that he fought. And it just goes to prove my point about what I was saying about Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is the best fighter of this era. And Floyd Mayweather should have gotten fighter of the decade. It should not have went to Manny Pacquiao, but we already know that was a political move. And, you know, you know, smart people understand what was going on, why they made Manny Pacquiao the so-called, quote-unquote, fighter of the decade. But anyway, I find that very uh, peculiar that Miguel Cotto picked Floyd Mayweather over Manny Pacquiao. Because maybe he knows that truly Floyd was the best fighter that he fought. So, it is what it is, man. Let me know what you think. I'm out.